today we're looking at a brand new set of lenses from Shiftcam. You may notice when I opened the box that it was missing a case, and that's because I had already taken it out, this is a 14 Pro Max, and put it to use. I've been out shooting and testing these lenses out, and so let's talk about them. Shiftcam is a brand I had actually never worked with before, but I've always been interested and heard other people talk about them. And so this is my first experience, and I gotta say, these things are really great. Pretty much all lens manufacturers' lenses have struggled with the latest generation phones. And so Shiftcam has made that a priority with this new set to make sure that they are high quality and have great edge-to-edge -edge clarity. But before we get into that, why even use lenses on your smartphone? One of the main reasons to use lenses, then you can shoot with the main camera, which has the best sensor, and that's for video or photography. In photography, by using the main sensor, you can get 48 megapixel photos. So yes, a camera has a built-in wide lens, but when you go to that, it's a 12 megapixel, and then it's not near as high quality, and it's not as fast of an aperture. You put the wide angle on the main camera, then you get a wide angle shot that has higher quality. Same goes with a telephoto. You can use the telephoto built into your phone, of course, for video or photography, but by using the lens, you can keep it on the main camera and you get higher quality. And the 3X Tele on the iPhone, especially for photography, is not nearly as high quality. And even for video too, it has a slower aperture and just not as good of a camera. But the good news is if you do want to put the telly on the telly, these lenses work very well. So in this set, you get a long range macro, a 60 millimeter telephoto, a 16 millimeter wide angle, a 10 times traditional macro, a 200 degree fisheye, a 1.33x anamorphic, a 1.55x anamorphic, a CPL filter, and a VND filter. And it's for the 14 Pro Max or the 14 Pro. But these lenses work with any and all phones, Android and Apple. But they've been optimized for the latest generation, which is great. And by the way, you don't have to buy all these lenses in the set. You can buy them individually or in a group. And I'll talk more about that later in the video. So how do these compare against Moment? All right, first up, the Shiftcam 1.33X Anamorphic. And this looks great. Looks sharp edge to edge. Nothing wrong with this image. And here's the top left corner. And then here's the top right. Again, showing that it looks great. Now here is the Moment 1.33X Anamorphic. And you'll instantly see there is some vignetting on the edges along with some fringing. It's just kind of soft. The middle looks good, but the edges not so much. To get a better view, here's the upper left and you can really see the vignette and the soft edges, the smearing. And then the same story here on the upper right. And now here's the side by side. Shift cam on the left, moment on the right. And this is the left side of the image. And now here is the right side of the image. Shift cam looks really good. All right, now we'll look at the wide angle. Here is the 16 millimeter from Shift cam. 
Now I am only a couple feet from this sign, and so on the left you're getting some shallow depth of field. But again, the image looks nice and sharp, edge to edge. Here's the upper left side. And again, that is shallow depth of field you're seeing. And here's the right side, looks nice and clean. And now here's the moment 18 millimeter wide. Same setup as the shift cam, so you're getting some shallow depth of field on the left hand side, but you're also getting a vignette and some more smearing, a fringing look. And you can really see it here on the close up, this is the top left corner. And then here's the top right corner. The image is not holding well. And side by side, you can see how much better the shift cam looks. And here's the right side. The shift cam is a little bit of a tighter image too, even though it's a 16 millimeter versus an 18 millimeter. And I decided to do one more wide angle shot. So here's the shift cam. Very nice clean shot, sharp edge to edge. And then here's the moment, same issues as before. And again, the moment 18 is actually wider than the 16 millimeter from shift cam. So I'm not sure which focal length is actually correct. All right, now the telephoto and the shift cam is a 60 millimeter. And a recurring theme here, the shift cam looks good edge to edge. The tree on the right is out of focus because it's shallow depth the field. And here's the top left corner. And here's the top right. You can see the depth of field more. There's a little bit of chromatic aberration there, but it's purposely out of focus and looks pretty good. Now here's the moment 58 millimeter. And recurring theme with this lens too. You're getting some vignetting and soft edges. And the tree on the right is again out of focus like it was with the shift cam, purposely so. So the upper left corner, you can see the darker edges and the smearing, fringing. And the upper right, you can see the tree is out of focus and you really see some heavier chromatic aberration and again, some fringing. And side by side, this is the left side of the shot. And here's the right side of the shot. Now I decided to include one more lens and that is the B-Script 1.7X Telephoto. I really like this lens and this lens has been optimized for the newer camera sensors. And it's a little bit of a wider shot because the other lenses are technically like a two times. This is a 1.7. So the tree on the right, while it is slightly out of focus, it is more in focus because it's not as telephoto of a shot. Top left of the image. And the top right. And B-Script has done a good job keeping things sharp edge to edge. And then here's a side by side between the shift cam on the left and B-Script on the right. They both look very similar. Again, the B-Script is just a slightly wider shot. So as I mentioned at the beginning, these new shift cam lenses really are pretty great. And if you wanna buy them, they're available right now on Kickstarter. If you pre-order during the campaign, you will get a discount. Or if you're watching the video later, they will be available at the normal places like Amazon or on the shift cam website. You can buy the entire set or you can buy them individually or you can buy different groupings. Info for all this is on the Kickstarter page and that link is in the description. I'm really glad to see ShiftCam taking the new larger sensor phones into consideration as they design the new generation of glass. And I really do hope other brands follow suit, but I have to say, they've set the bar pretty high, as these really are excellent. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.